Daring Adventures partnered up with Arizona State University to implement an inclusive recreation program in Arizona schools. Since schools are closed, we thought we could share our inclusion and recreation activities with you. Hi guys, my name is Kennedy and I work with the Therapeutic Inclusive Recreation Program through Daring Adventures and ASU. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make towel animals at home, so keep watching if you want to learn how to make a swan and an elephant. For this activity, go ahead and find a few towels. I had a couple different sized ones. You could also use blankets, shawls, or bandanas. Pretty much anything you can fold will be acceptable for making your animals. We are starting off with the swan. Go ahead and mark the center of your towel. And then you're going to go ahead and place a finger or two on there to mark your center and keep it there. Now you are going to take one corner of your towel and start rolling it diagonally towards that middle where your finger is. And then you're going to go ahead and switch to the other side. I did it individually, but if you do need a partner to help you roll or hold the towel flat, that is absolutely okay. This can be a partner or group activity. So now that you have the two rolled in the middle to meet, go ahead and make sure they are rolled tightly all the way back to each other. And now we're going to take the ends and tie it together so that we make the body of the swan. If you do not have a big enough towel or blanket to tie it, go ahead and use a hair tie or rubber band. Or if you just want to use that in general to keep it together, that's great. Now I'm going to be scooching forward to show you the base of the swan. And now we're going to turn it over from where we originally had it. Grabbing the other towel, whatever one you're going to use to make the wings of the swan. And here you'll see me kind of folding the towel to form the neck and the head of the swan. You can see where that point is, that's the beak. And now we're going to go ahead and make the wings. You're going to grab that washcloth or smaller towel in the middle so that you look like you have two sets or two wings. Tuck it into the back of the swan, stand her up, and here you go. You have a beautiful swan that's going to swim across the pond of your home. Moving on, we're going to be making our elephant. I am using a smaller towel to show you that these are doable with almost any size. As you could see, I marked those two indents on the towel. We are going to go ahead and fold towards the center on each of those indents like so. Then I'm going to mark two more indents where you're going to fold into the middle. It's okay if you got to keep pressing them down to keep it together. Now I'm flipping it to show you that we're going to turn it upside down. Try and keep those folds in. And now we are going to roll that into the middle where I just marked it. So take that and roll it towards the middle. You'll see kind of those folds making the legs. And now you see some cinnamon roll looking legs. That is your elephant's body. Now you're going to take your smaller washcloth to make the elephant's head. Go ahead and lay it flat. Find the middle. And you're going to take the corners and roll diagonally, similar to the swan's body. Repeat that on the other side. I spent too much time trying to tuck the tag in. No worries on that. Roll them to meet in the middle. You can start to see the shape of the elephant's head and the ears. You're going to turn it around. And you're going to fold down that part of the towel so that it turns into the elephant's face and that your ears fold out. Go ahead and attach your elephant head to the body. And there you go, you got your own Dumbo. How exciting. Thanks for watching.